Hi, I am so glad that we're going to be drawing and painting together for a few minutes. I thought it would be fun to uh, draw a bird tonight, and I have done a light sketch here to break down the shapes, because that way it makes things so easy. Let's say our bird has a little round head. Its body shape could be like kind of a smushed egg a soft pillow so there we go and then if the bird is flying we could construct the wing with a square and a triangle and then is this a trapezoid it is a yeah, we have four sides for the bottom wing and then we have the tail and we're going to let this um, point be within the body. So, with that in mind, I'm going to move the sketch away now that you've seen a simple way to break it down. Oh, forgot one thing. And the beak. That's a little triangle. And a circle for the eye, right? Now, we finished our bird. Now, I've done a light sketch already on my paper so that we can ink this up and now you'll see, let's leave that there for a minute. Let's see if we can make both of those fit for a second. You get the idea. Now, we've kind of eradicated these lines in here. And what we end up with is a really beautiful shape of a bird. So its little head will come here. And the back side of his body will come here, a little bit of it will be down there. His wing will extend out in flight. There we go. His little wing feathers. Let's give them little tips. I like our little bird. What do you think? I bet I like your bird better. That's important for us artists. We need to like what we do, and sometimes we're really hard on ourselves. Do you ever have that take place where everybody says, Oh, it's wonderful, and you say, Oh, well, I wish I'd done this, and I wish I'd done that. That is typical of an artist. We are so tough on ourselves. We always want to make it better and better and better, and really it was wonderful to other people already. So here's our bottom wing down here. I wonder where our bird is going to go. No telling. Somewhere up in the beautiful skies. There we go. This will be the top of that wing. And then its tail will extend from underneath the body. Again, more little feathers. He's really taking shape now, don't you think? We'll let that be the last one. And then we'll put in his little beak. And does a bird have a jaw? We'll pretend like that's a, that they do. I don't know. You might have to look that up. And now we'll have his little eye. And I have put a heart flower in his beak. He is flying away to give a happy heart flower to somebody. I wonder who. So you might put something different in your bird's mouth if you'd like to. Or you can make a heart flower. Alright, I think we are now ready to paint. And this is more or less an imaginary bird. So I'm going to move this away. See how that, that worked out? Now you know how to do it with shapes. And so we're going to come along. And I'm going to let this little bird be mostly brown. And I'm just putting water on my watercolor paper. This is watercolor paper that's 140 pounds 
and so it's a thick paper so that it doesn't crinkle up when you get it wet if if you use um, paper like for your computer to paint on you will find that it's going to crinkle up so it's best to have a little bit heavier paper so that it doesn't make those waves those little troughs all right we need brown get this in just like that and I'm going to leave some of my white of the paper showing because if you've painted with me before we've talked about the fact that the white of the paper is the whitest white you can get much more white than um, white paint so if we don't fill in everything uh, with here, sweet little bird we'll come along here you might decide to paint your bird blue or maybe red so you would have a blue bird or a cardinal cardinal would be red my little bird is just coming along so nicely and I think I'm going to blot that because that has gotten more intense than the rest of it and it was kind of making our eye go to the tail and that's fine up to a point let's put a little bit more water in this and since this little happy bird is flying along I think I'm going to put some orange and a little yellow on him where the sun is kissing him while he's flying high making that a little darker right there let's see if we put just a little orange that's kind of fun I'd be curious what you might be putting in your bird and what color you've made made yours Now I don't think that one is quite dark enough compared to, oops, well that got really dark again. Back and forth, back and forth. Which is just fine. Anytime I'm painting, I am having a wonderful time. How about you? Okay. Hmm, I think it needs a little bit more up here. Now, if you were painting this, you would be making different decisions from mine. One time I watched my mother painting while she was doing a wonderful picture. And she would do one little thing and I thought, oh my goodness, I would have never thought of that. And then I would think to myself, well, I bet she'll do this next. And not ever did she do what I would be thinking of. And that's the fun of being an artist is that everybody has different thoughts in their head about what they want to have on their paper. Oh, this is doing nicely. I'm going to give my little bird a blue eye. Now, I know that's not real, but I just think that would be kind of fun. And we're going to put this wonderful yellow for the beak right there. I think I'll put a little bit of yellow in his little belly down here. Maybe just a touch on the wings. There we go. And now for our heart flower, we need wonderful red. A dark red that has some blue in it is going to be called, more than likely, a Lizarin Crimson. And that is what all the manufacturers would call this color that you see right here. But I'm going to put a little bit of kind of a cherry red in it to give it even more, a little, a little bit more life. What do you think? And now we need some leaves. Let's do a yellow green. This is not quite like a lime green, but it 
it's a green that has a lot of yellow color in it. So I wonder who this little bird is going to deliver the heart flower to. I don't know, but it's a happy thing. So I am so glad that we painted today. I hope you've enjoyed this, and we'll do it again soon. Bye.